Hey guys, it's Haley and welcome to a kind of bookish video. <laughs> In my 1K Q&A, I don't know if you saw it, if you haven't yet, I will link it everywhere, but I mentioned doing some kind of different content, not just book-related content. There's a reason why I didn't name my channel like Haley reading books, Haley and her books, nothing like that. Um, I just wanted to keep it as my name, so if I wanted to grow and change the direction of my content, I could do that. Um, I'm sure some of you guys know I have a blog as well that focuses on like fashion and lifestyle kind of stuff. So this is kind of gonna be a hybrid video between the fashion and blogging side of me, which probably a lot of you guys see if you follow me on Instagram. Instagram and the part of me who loves talking about books because I'm absolutely obsessed with books and reading. If you have been watching my channel for a while, you know that about me. So I decided to do this kind of hybrid video where I'm letting some of my favorite book covers inform my outfits. So this is kind of going to be a styling video. Let me know if you like these kind of videos and I will definitely post more fashion content. But yeah, I'm going to basically be letting book covers pick my outfits for a week. If you've seen videos like this on like the fashion trendy side of YouTube, then you know it's not like seven days where I actually let a book pick my outfit. It's five days because that's a week on YouTube apparently. And I'm just gonna show you five outfits that were curated based on book covers. And these are all like trendy springtime looks that I put together for you guys. And yeah, I, I'm i just gonna wear them and model them and tell you a little bit about the book and a little bit about where the pieces are from. And I also have a an entire blog post, I'll link it down below, of just spring fashion, spring trends. I have like a whole haul, like all these kind of clothes. So if you're interested in seeing kind of a glimpse into my spring closet that's a little bit bigger than just what this video can show you, I will link that down below as well. And without further ado, let's get into the outfits. First up, we have Una Out of Order. This is one of my favorite books of 2021. I picked an outfit that would match the cover color really well, and I love that blue color, and I thrifted this set from Goodwill, actually. The glasses are from H&M, and the little tiny purse is from Amazon, but this book is amazing. If you haven't read it, you need to go out and get it now, especially if you like magical realism. It has elements of like time travel and all of that good stuff. So if you like time travel, you will definitely like it. It's basically about a girl who has to live her life out of order. She wakes up every birthday and she doesn't know what age she's going to turn. It is super fun and funny and quirky, but it's also really emotional. So I hope you like it if you take the wreck. If you're wondering, yes, I am in fact running around my entire apartment complex with a tripod filming all of these, so just know I was really embarrassed in front of some cute boys on the roof for y'all. Next outfit. This next look was inspired by Grown by Tiffany D. Jackson. It is my favorite YA thriller possibly ever, actually certainly ever. The shirt is from Cotton On and I have all of these little jewelry pieces here. They're all from Shein and Amazon. So pretty cheap, trendy jewelry looks for that. And these yellow pants are from a local boutique in Austin, but Grown is an amazing story. If you have not read it, I gave it five stars. It is lightly inspired by the R. Kelly debacle. I don't know if that's the right word, um, but it goes into girls and how they can be taken advantage by the music industry when they are underaged. It is really powerful. It's also a murder mystery, so it's super page turning and I highly recommend it.
My next outfit goes with the dating plan. I am super excited, as you can see with my little kicks, <laughs> about this book. I have not read this one yet, but I have super high hopes for it, and that cover was just too cute. I could not resist doing a outfit to go along with this book. So it's a fake engagement story. Basically, this woman has her entire life together. Everything is perfect with her career, her dog, her life, but she is just missing her love so her family's pressuring her and she ends up fake engaging to her male best friend it sounds really adorable and i just had to do this little springtime look everything from my jewelry down to my jeans is from local places and boutiques so sorry i can't link any of those for you guys but here is the look that goes along with this romance i feel like it's so fun and flirty so i just could not resist i'm sorry i haven't read it i don't have a review but it was just too cute i'm sorry let me look into the distance dramatically yes Next up, we have a tried and true favorite, Daisy Jones and the Six. And actually everything that I'm wearing here, except for the earrings, which are from a local boutique, um, everything is from Target, so very accessible. You can find these pieces, they're very cheap and yeah, easy to find. But I chose this outfit to go along with Daisy Jones and the Six because I wanted to do like an edgy rocker kind of look and Daisy Jones just emulates that vibe so well. If you don't know about Daisy Jones and the Six, it follows Daisy Jones who is a solo artist as she joins with this band to the six and they collaborate and it's super super fun and exciting if you like music biopics it would be a good one for you i gave it five stars and here i am trying to make the face of daisy on the cover i'm cringing too it's fine Last outfit here, we have this summery little look with this Princess Polly crop and it goes with The Islanders by Meg Mitchell Moore. This is such a great summer book, so I had to pair it with a very cutesy summer look. The shorts, by the way, are from Target and the bag is from Shein. That belt is also from Shein and the jewelry is from Target. And I just had to pair it this look with this book because it's so summery. The Islanders follows a multitude of people in this little island town and it's just a contemporary story about their lives. So if you like drama and you're looking for some summery vibes, this is great. Oh my god, here's me trying to show you my shoes. You get it. They're from Shein. It's fine. And that is it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching if you stuck it out through this video. And let me know if you like this kind of content, even though it's very different from what I usually make. I had a really fun, very tiring time making this video. Sorry, I gotta catch my breath. I've literally been running around my apartment complex for like two hours filming these clips. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys again so much for watching and let me know if this is something you would want to see in the future. And I love you guys. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.